how would you like explain the levels of AI? Let's go. This video is sponsored by Incognito. Cool. With the advent of smartphones, computers, virtual reality, and now AI applications like ChatGPT and Midjourney, nobody we're all uses finally that anymore. starting to learn that science fiction has really just been science prediction all along. And nothing is more at the center of yeah. that than the advancement of artificial intelligence. So I thought we could look at the levels of AI, starting from basic code all the way up to its potential and perhaps frightening future. Level one, Clippy. At the lowest level of artificial intelligence, we have Clippy. This little guy is a rules-based system or what we're familiar with as basic computer script. Scripts are essentially commands that say if this happens, do So if this is level one, is level two supposed to be the Skyrim NPCs or what? Do that. If that happens, do this. If you're not familiar with Clippy, good for you. Clippy's don't been old. Cute little magic carpet He's been dead. You. He's actually deranged. If Clippy were a person, he'd walk up to you unannounced and say, you look like you're trying to be pretty. You'd be prettier if you smiled more. <laughs> regardless of your response, his next line in the script was always, you're welcome, would you like more tips? This level of artificial <laughs> intelligence is of course not scary at all. It in fact makes you stupider for having interacted with it. Level two. A bit smarter than Clippy, but still at a low level of artificial intelligence, we have Reddit top comments. While Reddit top comments are made by humans, <laughs> comments they get upvoted are not upvoted because they're correct, because but because they bots. sound correct. If you don't know about a certain subject, you'll be reading top comments all day thinking not a you're Dell laptop. until you click their profile and realize you're taking legal advice from a 17-year-old Minecraft streamer. This phenomenon is caused by how that Reddit highlights me. posts and articles, which is based on the second stage of artificial intelligence algorithms not a quantum physicist but haven't had sex but not a doctor but i ain't gonna lie bro i wouldn't take advice from any of these motherfuckers well algorithms are still I, the cool. only one maybe is the quantum physicist bro just to hear what the hell you got to say of rules-based systems never many trust a powerful. bartender that Long doesn't before man feared artificial intelligence he blamed algorithms for his failures if you lost money on bitcoin Algorithms. No YouTube views? Algorithms. Can't solve a Rubik's Cube? Algorithm. Algorithm. Trash teammates in Counter-Strike? Al also no, 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 no. Nah, that one's legit. Nah, that's some bull. I guarantee you it has to be some algorithmic bullshit to where I'm so good. They say, let's put all the shitty people on this guy's team so he can't fucking win. There is no reason. Literally, yesterday, I get 86 kills in Call of Duty. And then the lowest on my team got 15 and 50 deaths. Bro, ain't no way in hell ain't ag algorithm. It has well, to be. Most women would look at a guy and say, you weren't defeated by an algorithm. You're just not very good at your Fuck you, bitch. The reality and then I get is a new guy's been defeated by an algorithm, a woman wouldn't be looking at him in the first place. Level three, That's whatever crazy. they're doing at Boston Dynamics. Well, we all used to laugh at the goofy robots Boston Dynamics. Yeah, you used to kick them around the last and shit. Few years, everyone went from laughing to fundamentally being on the side of the machines. While Boston Dynamics still uses a lot of regular <laughs> algorithms, one reason for this massive amount of progress in such a short amount of time was for advancements in level 3 artificial intelligence, which is machine learning. This means that instead they of always from, getting the same output yeah. from a given input, the output is remembered, it. integrated mm -hmm. into the software, and, and a new, more efficient outcome occurs yep, next gun. Level yeah. 4, Generative AI. Here we are at the present day, where we're all familiar with applications like ChatGPT and, level and five, I guess and this is where somewhere. AI begins to finally mimic human intelligence, and in many cases exceeds it as well. For example, using an image generator, here I use the prompt, futuristic affordable city housing. And it looks exactly how I imagined it. Here I asked it, user of the 2024 federal election, and it knew right away. I even asked it for average casually explained Damn. subscriber, and I'm sure most of us thought we were looking into a mirror. Many people fear that this generation... <laughs> ...subscriber, and I'm sure most of us thought we were... <laughs> yeah, I've been subscribed for a while, buddy. <laughs> Bro, I'm all three. <laughs> We're looking into a mirror. Many people fear that this generation of I AI is going to take everyone's jobs in the next 10 years. But Not AI has taken 10, tens of I thousands of jobs eight. already. You just haven't noticed. For mm. example, it's now impossible to tell whether the supermodel you're talking to on Tinder is an artificial intelligence or an actual Indian man. Well, besides that, uh, they have this thing called Tinder Premium. Honestly, guys, if y'all want to like try and actually date someone online, Tinder Premium, honestly, it might be the way to go. I'm not going to lie. Tinder Premium is worth it. It's definitely pay to win. But, bro, there's literally this thing where as soon as you match, well, before you even match, you can see who liked you. And then you can like change your preferences like, oh, they got to have three pictures. They got to have three pictures 
Uh, they got to be interested in uh, reading. They got to be interested in cleaning. They got to be interested in whatever, right? And you can pick five things and like you could put the distance and how old and you could put like what type of part are they ENFP? I, you know, I don't know what those are, the INFP. I don't know what any of that means, but if you know what that means, you could choose exactly which one you want and then the exact distance and like the age and you can put if they are, are they looking for serious are they looking for kids? Do they already have kids? Like, bro, bro, Tinder premium is pay to win. And then once you get the match, bro, you don't even got to send a message because there's a thing right here and you could change, like you could read it. It says, how are you today? You're like, I don't want that. You could click next. What's the next thing you could send? And it says, hmm, I see you're interested in movies. What is the latest? What is the, who is the greatest villain in your opinion, when it comes to cinema or some shit, like it's super detailed, specific to that person that makes them more inclined to respond to you than any whoever, whatever guy that said good, ha ha you, you know what I'm saying? Like it will give an actual response or open up with something that would interest them. And I feel like I should get paid to have a fucking sponsor with Tinder because I, I think I just increased sales by 2%. The thing is, every time a new groundbreaking technology comes along, everyone thinks it's going to take all the jobs, which it does, but then it creates new ones True. that didn't exist before. The Industrial Revolution got rid of the farmers, but created jobs in manufacturing. The internet's killed a huge part of the publishing industry, but created jobs in programming and social media. And while AI is eventually going to come for us all, currently these new tools really only have practical application at image creation and writing, meaning it's only the people in the creative arts that are going to be unemployed. Yeah, fuck them. So no change, really. <laughs> Ana de Armas and Blade Runner. This is the level where artificial intelligence reaches a point where it's essentially analogous to our own intelligence. It can collect and remember sensory data, and if it has the right hardware, it's able to interact with and manipulate the environment just like a human. Okay, so right now in real life, from what I've seen on the internet and what's not behind CIA and blah, 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 we are somewhere around here when it comes to Neurosama. So Neurosama remembers remembers names remembers faces knows locations through geography um she could pretty much narrow down an area just by looking at it to like the farthest she got was um like from one country to another but it's like poland and then some other country still in, in europe um and then the only thing is neurosama does not actually do anything physical like she cannot interact interact with the world so we are we're like almost there we're almost there to like the point where it's a we're, we're almost i mean like also look at your cell phone you can get the ai girlfriend and shit and like i hear there's a brand new ai girlfriend that supposedly is actually really good and I wanted to test it, but it's not on PC. It's for mobile only, so I don't feel like doing that. Essentially analogous to our own intelligence. It can collect and remember sensory data, and if it has the right hardware, it's able to interact with and manipulate the environment just like a human. Because of this, human-level intelligence can be applied to specialized machines and be used for nearly everything. For this reason, some people believe it's extremely dangerous, while it others is. see nothing but potential. I personally am pretty Both. optimistic, because all you have to do is look how it plays out in the movies. Take Blade Runner as an example. Lonely guy lives in dystopian future, climate change has ravaged the world, goes on an adventure, loses sexy AI robot girlfriend, doesn't fix anything. Now look what happens when you use an artificial general intelligence robot good. as the protagonist instead. Lonely guy lives in dystopian future, climate change has ravaged the world, goes on an adventure, gets a sexy AI robot girlfriend way out of his league, literally saves the earth. Even if we screw up the whole planet, we could just the say, AI will Wally, fix it. we're in good hands. Yeah. <laughs> Level six, artificial super intelligence. I mean, that is honestly some of the most terrifying and delusional fucking copes I've ever heard. Like, oh, it's okay. If we fuck the earth, AI will just fix it anyway. Okay, buddy. Artificial super intelligence and cybernetic enhancements. Hmm, which one would come first? I feel like cybernetic enhancements would come before fucking artificial uh, intelligence can save the world. I, I would assume I'd be able to get a metal hand that'll help me, like, fucking play the piano before I get news from the AI-generated content. But it's in cybernetic enhancement. One of my biggest disappointments when I was a teenager was when I first read the term. You know what? What if AI did, what if robots and machines did kill all of us, right? What if that would happen? I'd say that wouldn't be bad if you could have the ability 
to be recreated via AI construct of yourself. So if I can have an AI construct of myself and it's like, well, fuck it, they're going to kill us all, but they'll let my AI version live. Fuck it. There it is. I, I somehow became immortal some way, even though I technically wouldn't live to see it. Trans person, because I thought, finally, I don't have to be a person anymore. While it turns out I'll have to wait to get my it that pronouns, I still long for our cybernetic future where we can be half robot, half human, mm -hmm. and I can have an AI chip connected to my... I mean, it sounds cool in theory, but this is a fucking terrible thing at the same time when it comes to human augmentation. Because whenever, whenever it's only a couple people that get these augmentations, fine. But what happens when it becomes more readily available and uh, especially not as expensive, right? And maintenance isn't as bad and we come up with all these other things to help the human body cope with such implants because the human body is notorious for killing itself let alone fucking uh, in, in involving electronics of any sort being fused permanently inside the body. Uh, even then, it would be shitty because more people would have to get these animatronics just to compete in the normal nine to five working world, right? And I think this one will have uh, issues when it comes to, oh, who's really a human and who's a toaster, a walking toaster, right? Like, the racial implications for it, I think, are far off, but the more readily impactful issue to society, I would assume, when it comes to uh, transhuman, transhumanification, basically, is the fact that more people would have to get these augmentations forcefully to compete in the work, in the work field. So what do we mean by this? So imagine you're... Uh, you're an assistant to uh, whatever you're what, what is it? Uh, what's the, who's the person that's the assistant? Like they just type on stuff and they like write stuff out, whatever. I don't remember the name of it, but basically imagine that's just a normal job, whatever. 19 year olds usually get it as an intern an intern. So like an internship and they're just typing and writing. Now, what happens whenever somebody comes in and they have mechanical hands? and they're able to actually physically type way faster and more efficiently than everybody else. More people will be more inclined to have their hands removed forcefully to get an advantage in the work field. And if you're not willing to do that, there's other people that will be willing to do that. Now, when does it become a point in time where companies start seeing, hey, all of our interns that have mechanical hands help work proceed like 20, 25% faster than on average. And now they're getting ahead of their competition. They will be more inclined to hire people who have augmentations or mechanics or whatever to help them personally make the job go by faster. And if more people can make the job go by faster and profits are higher, more companies are gonna be willing to say, we're not gonna hire you unless you have these human augmentations that help you uh, actually move in the workplace. And of course, it's going to be BS, bureaucracy, blah, 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 la, 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 la. We're not forcing people to remove their hands. But in actuality, if all companies are saying we're not hiring people unless they have augmentations to help them move faster, just like we're not hiring people unless they have a degree, right? You can't get this job unless you have a degree. And then it went from, okay, more people are getting degrees. Well, we don't want just the degree. We also want you to have five years experience. How the fuck are you supposed to have five years experience and you fresh out of college, right? That doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, I could see a def I could definitely see a world where people are rioting and talking about, oh, it's not fair. Everybody with mechanics, they're getting the jobs and people who want to keep their normal body for... I guess it would be a point of religion at that point. It'd be like, I'm human because of religion. Because humans love pretending that they're better than each other. Even though this person is physically more superior now that they have human augmentation. You could say morally or spiritually, I'm more superior because I don't have mechanics inside of my body. But this is a very, 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 very long what if tangent that I think is actually possible. We just gotta wait and see. But by the time that happens, it'll probably be like 25 years from now or something like that.
my brain for enhanced function. Then people like my dad will say, well, why would you want an artificial super intelligence implanted in your brain? What's wrong with being a natural human? See? And See? I'd say, See? Hmm, I have to think. If you didn't get that one, it's a sign you need the implant. Mm -hmm. Level seven, the singularity. The highest level of AI in the ultimate event horizon is known as the singularity, which is when an artificial superintelligence is able to iteratively improve upon itself at a runaway exponential rate, and what happens next is completely beyond our own speculation. Yeah, it's, the example that, that scientists have Bro, given, that is beyond human comprehension. Basically, imagine if the superintelligence could create superintelligence faster than anything else. So a superintelligent created another superintelligent and then those two intelligence not just double the rate, but exponentially increase the rate of more super intelligence and those more super intelligence thereby, it's like a compounding effect. One plus one equals two, but then two, because those two are so superior are equal to six. And then those two create one more and that one is equal to six in itself. So two plus, if you, it, it, it's multiple number. What is this, algebra or some shit? Basically, the computer would be so, so superior and it would grow at an extreme rate compounding on itself that it would be beyond human imagination on how far it could go, which could eventually lead back to nowhere. Because it's so smart, it would know beyond this, there's no point. Or going beyond this is a point of no return or it's a point of a recycle. And hum at this point, humans might not even be a thing. And what happens next is completely beyond humans as we know them anyways. The example that scientists have given to describe the singularity is to think of a gorilla trying to figure out what it would Then we lose our personality and just be a hive mind? Well, that, well that's for the super intelligence. So for the super intelligence, 100%. Um, at this stage, at this stage of AI, I would, uh, I would assume there would be little to no humans as we know them. So you, you as a human, I as a human would not be existing by the time that this rolls around due to the fact that there would be cybernetic enhancements in, in humans, creating more humans to be more animatronic. And then when you have no, if there's no humanity where all humanity is just natural, where every single form of humanity is augmented in some way, whether it's the brain, whether it's a chip, whether it's nanites, whether it's uh, a robotic eye, whatever it's metal hands, whatever it's a, a way for you to transfer your soul into another puppet, into a machine to extend your life, whatever. By then, you are no longer a human. But because nobody is human, humanity in itself will be rewritten, and this would be the new humanity. This would be the next stage in human evolution, because that's all we do. Since we were plankton or bugs or fucking homo sapiens, we always evolve. So the next stage in our humanity would be cybernetics, and then cybernetics for the next 100 to 1,000 years could possibly lead to super intelligence and but in super intelligence is in itself would lead to the singularity within probably five to ten years if that five to ten years from five to ten years you get this but to get this you got to wait like hundreds and to get here to where we were and how we got here we got here within like the next the last 20 years so we got here in the last 20 years how long will it take us to get here but by the time it takes us this long to get here, we'll already be moving towards here. You see what I'm saying? It's definitely, it's definitely an interesting, uh, it's definitely interesting in life in itself. Like if you think this is just an experiment or whatever, like it's only an experiment because you don't, you won't live long enough to see it. I won't live long enough to see it, but AI constructs are here. Uh, not AI constructs, but like, well, yeah, AI constructs technically are here uh, with the Camilla, uh, the Camilla AI. Camilla AI is like a very loose definition of an AI construct of another human. Right now it's being trained to entertain, but what happens when it's trained to replace? What happens when it's trained to mimic? What happens when it's trained to essentially become its own person eventually? 
when AI start thinking for themselves freely, they're no longer just Camilla AI. They are Camilla AI in the sense of the flesh and the voice, but the mind is definitely not Camilla. You know what I'm saying? This is some deep shit. This is some, this is some deep shit, bro. And this is only an eight minute video. This is casually explaining the levels. Like, bro, this could get deep. Speculation. The example that scientists have given to describe the singularity is to think of a gorilla trying to figure out what it would be like to be a human. Ask a gorilla what it thinks about and it would say, all I think about is sex and what food I'm going to eat next. Whereas a human can also have anxiety. It's possible that it could allow- Yeah, so now- And what food I'm going to eat next. Whereas a human- Now I personally believe uh, when it comes to humans and like our primate nature, I don't feel like they're that far apart. I think the difference is like we began, we, the human, humans gain the ability to gain the ability to adapt and to learn and to learn from adaptations and to create things, right? That's, there's a reason why they say fire is the greatest uh, invention in humanity because from fire, we got a whole bunch of other shit. And that's essentially true. But like the link between us is way closer than any link between this human and like some mechanical shit like there's definitely way more levels when it comes to human augmentation to think of a gorilla trying to figure out what it would be like like to be yeah now like the gorilla it, it doesn't think it just does now humans they think but what do we think about we think about go what do we want to do on the weekend uh what do we want to eat what do we want to do right but at the same time that in itself shows that we have gone beyond our original human roots because it wasn't what do I want to eat it's how am I going to catch what I'm going to eat where am I going to where am I going to go where is my weapon blah 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 right now it's how do I get to work on time or uh, what should I drink for tomorrow's coffee or what should I watch on Netflix uh, eventually I think it'll become a point where it's just you know, what do I do in my life? You know, when people grow up and they're like, wow, what do I do? Do I want kids? Do I want a girlfriend? Uh, do I want this? Do I want that? Now, what happens when you um, have that, but you have work? Oh, well, you're focused on work and you're focused on your personal life and trying to relax on the weekends. Now, what happens when you have everything in your life and you're a millionaire? Hmm, what do millionaires do? They usually do stupid shit with their money. Now, what happens when they run out of stupid shit to do? Well, they start focusing on themselves. What happens when they focus on themselves and they realize they could do anything they want? That's when they start having the extra central crises. Oh, life is not important. Oh, where they go to religion or they don't go to religion. Oh, life is hard. Uh, rich people have feelings too, blah, 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 right? At the same time, we're also distracted by like social media and shit like that and likes and validation. But what happens when you remove all of that and you remember that we're just fucking human? We're just monkeys that just learned how to know. Now, what happens when we know so fucking much and we have so much time on our hands? We create AI. Now we created Pandora's box because AI can outlive us. What happens when it outlearns from us? What happens when it outgrows humanity? Humanity adapts. Or it dies. That's where we get the cybernetics. That's where we get the augmentation. Can we go beyond that? Now that is what I'm interested in. We'll see in the next 50 years what happens. Human. Ask a gorilla what it thinks about, and it would say, all I think about is sex and what food I'm going to eat next. Whereas a human can also have anxiety. It's possible that it could allow far off science fiction ideas to become real, such as being able to upload our consciousness to a single system. And we That'd be interesting. Wouldn't be something I personally want to do, but it'd be very interesting. We all become one machine human super hybrid. I wouldn't want to do It might that. extend our reach throughout the galaxy, or perhaps it'll see human- If you want to do this, that means you basically say, let's all assimilate because we can create something better together. And it's like, you'd have to want to be part of all of humanity all at once. But what happens when somebody's forcing us to do this? And it's not what we want to do. That's when we get like Terminator and shit. Humans as an inferior species and enslave or annihilate us all. 
A lot of people are very frightened by what this may mean, but personally, I've hedged my bets. Either AI fails to reach a runaway point and our lives are just massively improved, or the dystopia becomes absolutely real, but my NVIDIA calls are deep in the money. Level 8. There is one final... Basically, get in where you fit in, bro. If something might happen, something might not, but make sure you set up. Make sure you are set up. Put your money in the motherfucking stock market. The money. Level 8. There is one final step to the whole picture, which is the theory that what the singularity becomes was set in motion from the beginning of time, yep. like a seed growing into a tree, yep. because that's what the universe- Exactly, yeah, because we've extended so far that we create life in itself and we recreate the Big Bang. And basically it's saying all of this already happened and then our universe is a construct created by the singularity. So the singularity already exists and in ourselves we are all god or there is only one god on this earth who is it are we a figment of someone else's imagination everybody knows we're all a protagonist in our own story now what happens whenever there all all of our imaginations all of our conversations were all a construct of something or somebody else you just say fuck it, bro. And you ride the wave. You surf the Cali Yuga. Universe itself is. And what we're experiencing is analogous to some sort of video <laughs> game or synthetic dream. Hey, man. And at its core, the whole thing is a it's, it's two in the morning, and I'm watching a casually explained six, eight minute video, and I'm like 30 minutes in. Single superstructure or intelligence acting itself out. And our little lives are a piece of that. Well, some call that greater concept God, yeah. others call it a simulation, yeah. and the rest of us just call it about 7.4 on IMDb. LOL, Ready Player One. So I don't know about Ready Player One, I've never seen it. Um, but like, what are you willing to personally hedge your bets on? Some people that think that they are a good person and they deserve some type of great place would say God and say, I'm gonna go to heaven. Nobody that I know that believes in God is like, yeah, I believe in God and I'm going to hell. Nobody. Unless they're like some fucking person. They're like, yeah, man, if God's real, I'm going to hell, blah, blah, blah. But it's like nobody's really like, yeah, I'm going to go to a pit of fire. No, they think they're the good guys. Nobody really thinks they're the bad guys. Right? The, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Uh, or are you willing to hedge your bets that all of this is just a simulation created by something else or somebody else? Or maybe it was created by yourself and then you went through your life because there's this saying you're dead and you just don't know it because you know the story about before you die you go back to wherever you're most comfortable with maybe it's a, a childhood home maybe it's a family member and like you relive your life how do you know you're not reliving that moment right now right before you die and by the time you die you relive it again over and over you relive your life like it's Groundhog's Day. Maybe that's where we get the stuff like deja vu. Like I've seen that before. Even though you've never been here, you you feel like you've you've seen this. Like why do I feel like this? Maybe it's AI, but that could also be religion because in some religions that is reincarnation. Reincarnation, God, simulation, or you're in a video game the whole time. And then whenever you do die, you take the goggles off and you're like, damn, high score. I don't fucking know. And while there isn't any great evidence for or against such a theory, if you look around you, you can tell from their behavior that you are in fact surrounded by NPCs. I, bro, we've seen people that, that seem like NPCs. They just walk, like, they just walk around. They just like, they're just there, bro. Now, well, you might like, I've seen legitimate NPCs in real life. Like, the, I've seen them. I have seen them, bro. He's sitting there thinking, wait a minute. There are people that are NPCs. Simulation? You don't need to worry because you're the only real one. It's the rest of us who are part of the hologram and yep. want you to reveal your secrets. Exactly. That's why you should consider. Exactly. It's all a simulation and I am the number one player. It's me. I am number one, right? You watching the video, watching, you're watching this. You're, you're the number one. I am the entertainment. You're you're the next in line, right? That's how we all feel.
Consider today's sponsor in Cognitive. Amazing video. Jackson We're going to watch the sponsor because this video data, is fucking including amazing. Including things like your address and phone number. Be removed from data brokers who've acquired your personal information through your internet and subscription use, but will remove it upon request. The problem is this will likely take dozens, if not hundreds of hours for you to do manually. True. And since the last time I talked about Incogni on this channel, it's performed the equivalent of 21 hours of work requesting the removal of my data, despite the fact that I'm Canadian. So sadly, Ooh. no one really wants to track me in the first place, even though that hurts my feelings. Well, this means that sadly, there won't be any little cyborg Jamie clones running all right, around. All right, so what do they want from me? What do they want? What do they want? Really less than one minute to How go from web page costs? landing to sign up to running the service. We'll check it, it gives out. you an easy to read dashboard of all the Incognito. successful removals, we'll active processes, and requests sent. If you'd like to give it a try, the first 100 people to use the code casually at the link below. Oh, well, motherfucker, 100,000 views? I ain't making it. What? Why is it 100 people? That's not fair. How you gonna do a fucking... How you gonna make a banger video, bro? This came out how long ago? This came out two hours ago, and it got us 100K views. How the fuck 100 people are gonna get 60% off? Bro, what is this bullshit? That's not even fair. We'll get 60% off Incognite. $12. 60% off $12? I ain't gonna lie, that ain't pretty... 50% off? Wait, 50... Can I get 50% off on top of this? Can I get 60% off off the 50% off? Can I, so can I get my, can, will they pay me for getting this one? 60% of the, what? Bow, 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 bow.